What's up guys? We've got a lot going on today. It is Saturday, August 8th, which means in Hawaii it's the last day to get our ballots in for the primary elections. <laughs> Skylar forgot hers at her office. Yeah. So we're gonna go pick that up and get those dropped off. And we've been trying to do a snorkeling vlog for weeks, but um, <laughs> as you can tell, you can't even see our mountains this morning. So we're still gonna drive over to the other side of the island and- It's a bit windy. Yeah, it's very windy. Hopefully the weather's a bit better over there, but if not, I guess we can vlog whatever we get into. The thing about this island is that you can literally go from one side to the other and the weather's completely different. So we'll let you know how it is over there. Fingers crossed it's sunny on the west side. <laughs> I said there was a lot going on today. I forgot to mention uh, today's date is also important because Hawaii is back on lockdown. Um, I'm sure it's changing in every state, the rules with coronavirus, but what that means here, uh, this go around is beaches and trails are closed. Um, you can still get in the water, so you can walk the beach to get in the water or use the bathrooms. You basically just can't lounge around on the beaches. Uh, other than that, um, not many businesses were closed. They just have to follow the, you know, local guidelines, social distancing, all that, wear masks. Uh, they did close bowling alleys and, oh, I think a couple parks. Um, but other than that, uh, they didn't reclose restaurants or, um, they did close bars, but brew pubs are still open. So as long as you serve food, uh, you can, you could have stayed open. Um, they also closed inter island travel again for residents um, well you can still travel but you have to do the 14 day quarantine but another twist on that if you're coming from any other island to oahu you don't have to quarantine if you're going from oahu to any other island you do have to do the 14 day quarantine so as you can tell it's been pretty tricky to keep up with but um, we moved here in january and you know the coronavirus shut everything down in march so we had all these cool ideas for uh, um, vlogs and obviously haven't been able to do a lot of that, but we'll get to it one day. Um, socially distancing has been pretty easy for us since we don't know any people here. Uh, there, there is actually a guy here in the military from my hometown, so we hang out with them quite a bit, but even if their whole crew's with us, we're still in a group less than 10 people. So um, I feel like we've done a pretty good job of doing our part, but we were going to try to get out and and snorkel today that's still allowed um, as long as you're not lounging on the beach my family was supposed to come in july so they had to cancel that trip or postpone it um, i'm part of a group on facebook that kind of uh is for i guess residents and tourists interested in coming here and daily people are asking you know should i come this date should i come this date uh, what are things going to be like nobody knows it's changing literally uh, multiple times a day sometimes so my advice would be uh, definitely postpone any trips here uh, at least for the for the near future you know it's it's just been so sporadic and the, the rules keep changing so uh, i think my family's gonna try for maybe next summer for now uh, so like july 2021 and it may get postponed again so um, there's definitely been pros and cons of the coronavirus i guess uh, shutting down travel here we've had you know less competition for beaches we've got to do a lot of cool stuff uh, without all the congestion traffic hasn't been that bad uh, but you know it's unfortunate that a lot of people are having to cancel trips and um, you know it's the lack of tourism has really hurt the economy but uh, yeah so it's I guess midnight this morning or last night uh, this new closure started so 
they were talking about allowing tourists to come back September 1st pending a um, negative COVID test within 72 hours of departure. No word of that. Uh, I would guess they're going to push that again, you know, further down the line because at this point, you know, they're more concerned about rising numbers just from the residents here. So it's unfortunate, but uh, yeah, that's what's going on. So uh, if we can't snorkel, we'll try to do something that uh, allows us to continue social distancing. But you know, we haven't really kept ourselves locked in or anything. We've still tried to do normal things and uh, while being respectful of others, but uh, it's just part of living, part of living in Hawaii right now. So hopefully this will be behind us sooner than later. But for now, we're gonna go drop off our ballots and um, the sun is at least somewhat out over here. So we might get some snorkeling in, but we'll see. Here we go, doing our part. <laughs> so long. <laughs> Unreal. So, change of plans. Um, our friend that we mentioned earlier, or that Gavin mentioned earlier, that's here in the military, he invited us to go snorkeling on the Marine Corps base. So, we got some yummy sandwiches here. These are called Bon Mies. They're so good. Highly recommend. Um, but my favorite sandwiches. I won't ever eat uh, another sandwich again. I don't think. Yeah, no. So we're gonna meet up with them and head to the Marine Corps to do some snorkeling. So we'll catch you there. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? <laughs> we're finally geared up. Scuba Steve right here. We got on our fancy uh, fin socks and flippers. And Skylar's gonna try out the old school mask and snorkel today instead of the full face mask. If we see anything cool, um, you'll see that in the footage. If there's nothing worthy of putting on there, I guess we'll see you at our next adventure.
So we made it back home. As you can see, it's still super cloudy and gloomy over here. But like we said, other side of the island, not bad. We got some pretty okay snorkeling in, but the other places we're gonna show you are a lot cooler. But Skylar finally got to swim with her turtles. Yay, I was so happy too. We haven't uh, grabbed any dinner yet, like we said, but we're pretty much just gonna chill out here for a while, go get some food later, and uh, close it out for now. We'll see you in the next vlog. See ya!